Hello friends, in this video we are going to produce a vertical panel effect. So open your image. Okay, now click on new fill or adjustment layer and choose a solid color. From the color picker, choose color as white and press OK. You can see a new color layer is added above the background layer. Now choose the background layer and make a copy of it. Simply press Ctrl J on your keyboard. Now move this background copy above the color layer. Okay. Now choose the shape tool and choose the rectangle shape. Make sure you have shape selected here and draw a vertical strip. For good effects, go to add it, free transform and rotate it. When you are done, click apply. Now move this shape layer below the background copy layer. Now we will drop some shadow effects, so go to function drop shadow ok choose the angle as 120 distance will be dependent on the resolution of your image ok now to produce a stroke effect click on the word stroke do not click on the checkbox ok say the size is 4 position as inside color as white ok and ok Okay, now choose your background copy and go for a create clipping mask. Okay, you can see our shadow effect also. Now choose your background copy, hold on shift and click on your shape layer. Now both the layers selected make a group, so just hit Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Now once the group is created, the task is repetitive, so we will copy this group again, hit Ctrl J on your keyboard. Now move this copy below our original group, open this group, okay. choose your shape tool, shape layer sorry, then choose, choose your move tool and move your rectangle this time a little upwards again go to add it free transform and rotate it in reverse direction so it will give a good effect when done hit apply close your group again make a copy of your group move it downwards open the group again choose the rectangle tool so the task is quite repetitive now this time move it downwards again with the free transform and rotate it now when you are done close the group again make a copy of it so in this way you need to go on until you have the final effect ok i will just quickly do it And make sure each time you rotate at it a different angle and at different positions so when you finish the repetitive task you will have a image like this so thank you for watching this video guys